And there I was, inside a dark forest, right in front of a Proteus statue. Crazy, isn't it? What did that silly engine even do to get a statue anyway? Asked Duncan. Well, Duncan, be careful with what you say. Proteus was a very significant engine on the narrow gauge once upon a time. And how's that? You sure you won't be spooked? Pah! Stuff and nonsense! I'm never scared! Alright then, if you say so. And Rusty began his story. A long time ago, there was a yellow engine named Proteus. He was everyone's favorite engine, as his light shone through the darkness. But one night, as Proteus was returning home on the old bridge, Proteus lost control and plunged into the swamps below. Workmen say, whenever it is a full moon, they see a ghost trying to reach the other side of the bridge. So, they decided to make a statue in his honor. How is that for a spooky story? Absolute nonsense! What a silly story and a silly engine! Duncan sniffed, and he puffed away to deliver his trucks. Ah, silly old story! Rusty's gone soft in the boiler! But the thought of Duncan running on the same railway as the ghost engine made his funnel shiver. The night grew darker, and the mists were rising around the old bridge. Just then, Duncan heard a shrill whistle. Who's there? Duncan asked nervously. Then he saw a faint ghostly figure right in front of him. ghost disappeared. Bust my buffers! It's Proteus! Rusty was right after all! Duncan was so frightened, he couldn't even move. Just then, Duncan heard a crack in the beams of the bridge. It was starting to collapse. Help! I'm going to fall! I don't want to be a ghost! Help! And Duncan blew his whistle long and loud. Duncan's whistle woke up Rusty. Oh dear, that's Duncan. He must be in trouble. So Rusty followed where the noise was coming from. The noise led Rusty to the old bridge. Duncan had never looked so terrified. Don't worry, Duncan. I'm coming to save you. Inch by inch, Rusty chuffed closer to Duncan. Careful! Gasped Duncan. You'll fall too! Soon, Rusty was coupled up to Duncan and pulled him off the bridge right before the whole bridge collapsed into the ravine below. When Duncan and Rusty were back at their sheds, Rusty had a few things to say to Duncan. Well, Duncan, are my stories still nonsense to you? Is Proteus still a silly engine? But Duncan didn't say anything. He had a lot to think about. Proteus isn't silly, Duncan muttered to himself. He was one brave engine. The roughest, toughest engine on the railway. <laughs>